Hello all, my name is Krishna and welcome to my vlogging channel. So guys, another data science general Q&A session. Yesterday, I had actually gone live in LinkedIn uh, with Kate. Uh, there was a session regarding resume building and all. At that time, one common question that I found out uh, in the chat was that many people are confused with the roles and responsibilities of a junior data scientist, probably a senior data scientist or a lead data scientist. So I want to really take up this specific questions and uh, we're going to discuss how the roles and responsibility will vary as we go on becoming on the next position, basically a higher position like uh, probably senior data scientist or lead data scientist. Now always understand guys, um, first of all, let's start with internship, you know. So usually in companies, uh, whichever, whoever, whichever company actually take interns, they hire it from college, you know, uh, they are probably put into many POC projects, you know, so POC project basically means that project that are still in pipeline, they want to develop some at least some uh, a demo demo kind of solution. And mostly the interns are actually put onto that what I have actually seen, you know, yes, in the live projects very hardly I'll be able to see because when I was working in foreign MNCs or other MNCs, I've seen many interns that were getting hired who were working under us. And they were put into those kind of POC projects, right? And when I say POC, it is called as proof of concept. Okay. Now, uh, suppose if you're getting hired as a junior data scientist, you know, now, as a junior data scientist, I'm just going to discuss the roles and responsibilities. And in order to understand the roles and responsibilities, first of all, you need to understand the life cycle of a data science project. Okay. So life cycle basically means data collection, probably feature engineering, feature selection, model creation, model building, hyperparameter tuning, and probably model deployment and all. Now, as a fresher, if you're getting hired as a junior data scientist, usually you're not put into things. Uh, and when I talk about a life cycle of a data science project, there is also something called a CI CD pipelines, you know, like we use ML flow or uh, ML ops uh, in order to just make sure that uh, the automated deployment of the model usually happens in the cloud, right? So usually if you are a junior data scientist, you are put into a single module of a life cycle of a data science project, like probably you may be put into data collection strategy. Okay. Uh, there will be some members like uh, probably there may be two junior data scientists who may be working on that. They may be having one senior data scientist who will be working in multiple things. Okay. Now, suppose if you are put into a data collection strategy, you will be mostly focusing on understanding how to probably collect the data, how you should store the data in the databases and many more things. And you may be put into any any life cycle by any 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 module of the life cycle. But some of the modules like uh, model deployment and all uh, model deployment probably in creating ML ops, a complete CI CD pipelines, you'll not be put up extensively. Because for that you really need require some amount of experience, you know, but independently, you can be put into feature engineering, you may be put into feature selection, probably into model creation also. Uh, but always make sure that as a roles and responsibility of a junior data scientist is that they should the, the specific model that they are actually creating, you have to make sure that you you do that specific work and create some amazing outcomes from it, you know, you always need to suppose if in, in the future engineering, you are probably handling a missing value. Okay, and um, why you have taken that specific approach, you have to tell them because you have probably done some kind of observation, you have to make sure that you have to make a note of that particular observation, right? So a junior data scientist, probably they will not be put into multiple modules, just a, a, a one to two modules that they will be put up and they'll be involved in that specific world till the project gets completed. Now coming to a normal data scientist or a senior data scientist, they may be put into multiple modules, it depends on what that guy is good at. Suppose he's go very good at hyperparameter tuning of the model. He's very good at feature engineering. He may be put into multiple modules. Now it's just not like one or two modules, right? Uh, probably he may be guiding, he may be guiding junior data scientists. Along with that, he may be doing some kind of work. Like when I was a data scientist, I had a senior data scientist. Suppose uh, how in a sprint planning, you know, how the stories were actually divided by the, uh, by the manager. Uh, analytics manager to a junior data scientist, probably a senior data scientist and a lead data scientist. Most of the stories were divided between uh, the junior data scientist and the data scientist who can also be called as a senior data scientist. Between these three people, most of the stories were actually divided. The complex stories used to go to the senior data scientist who used to probably work on the complex part, probably a most complex part. Uh, whereas uh, 
simple stories used to go on to the uh, junior data scientist or a data scientist whom they used to work in that specific stories so just understand that as a senior data scientist you may be probably put into multiple modules multiple complex projects probably um and it will be like you really have to develop since you have been called as a senior data scientist you should also be helping the data scientist and the junior data scientist for various kind of work and activities right now coming to the lead data scientist just understand that he is uh, uh, a technical architect just consider that he is in the path of becoming a technical architect so he will be actually seeing the overall picture he'll be pretty much involved along with the senior data scientist in creating ci cd pipelines with the help of ml ops he may be involved in deployments he may be involved in uh, in com continuous communication with uh, probably the cloud team probably with the data engineering teams and all and yes senior data scientist will also be involved but understanding in the most technical architect way lead data scientist will definitely be there he will probably be handling most of the communication with the clients you know um, where he is basically talking about the reports is talking about the strategy that he has used definitely for them uh, like along with him there will be some people uh, who will be helping him but definitely most of the client facing things he will be doing along with the analytics manager uh, this is some of the roles and responsibilities now so just understand why i'm making this particular video probably you are around six to seven years of experience and tomorrow you crack an interview and go to the next company with a role as senior data scientist so you should not be getting confused over there what should be my work activities you know and uh, probably your work will be and uh, it also depends on the company guys uh, this one point i missed it depends on the companies also if the companies are not having too many members then what they'll do they'll tell you to do all the work but usually in most of the companies what happens is that they try to divide the work efficiently in the sprint manner uh, where the stories are divided in such a way that most difficult stories goes to the senior data scientist then little bit uh, which is less complex goes to the data scientist and the very easy one goes to the junior data scientist and even though they are stuck over there senior data scientist should be able to help so tomorrow if you are able if you are able to crack as a senior data scientist trust me you really need to help the team you really need to solve the complex projects also you also need to work along with the leads the lead uh, data scientist in uh, presenting reports and probably communicating with the clients and doing a lot of things so i hope you like this particular video with respect to the understanding i hope you got an idea about all the specific roles analytics manager i'll create a specific role for this trust me analytics manager is the rarest role in the world probably the most amazing salary uh, i myself have seen around two to three analytics manager in my previous company and they've done a pretty amazing job and this salary was quite huge right so probably i'll make a separate video for that because i really need to discuss various points what are the roles and responsibilities of them so i hope you like this particular video please do subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed i'll see you in the next video have a great day thank you one all bye bye